welcome to GCSE Pod. I'll give you a very quick tour of some of the main areas you can use. At the heart of GCSE Pod are the pods, three to four minute videos covering everything you'll need to know about a specific topic, all the keywords, diagrams, dates, and quotes. To find a pod on a particular topic, just click Browse Content and choose your subject. We cover 20 in total. Finding and watching pods is just as easy on a smartphone or tablet, so wherever you are, you can always get what you need. Once you get to the topic page, you can see all the topics available. The topics should already have been filtered by your teachers, so you only see ones that are relevant to you. Click on a topic to see a list of subtopics, or as we call them, titles. Let's choose one and watch an example of a pod. This chapter will focus on the character of Benedict. Benedict is one of the four main characters in the play. He is a lord, so he's a man of rank and status. Remember to pause the pod as you go, so you can take notes or copy the diagrams. If you're on a smartphone, you can take a screen capture of images you find useful and keep them in your photo library for later, a bit like digital flashcards. This one might be a good one to keep. Just like on YouTube, you can favourite videos you like, that's the star button, and share them with friends. You can even download pods, you just click here. This is great if you don't want to use up your phone's data allowance when you're away from Wi-Fi. If you prefer, you can get our Apple or Android app completely free. If your teacher has added some extra resources for you, these will be highlighted as extras. You might have a quick quiz to complete, a useful web page to look at, or a past paper to try out. Just click the relevant icon to access the resources. To go back to the home page, click Dashboard. We've looked at the pods, but there are some other fantastic tools on the site to help you. Here on the right, you can create playlists. Any pods you favourite will automatically be added to your favourites playlist, which you can see here. You can also create your own playlists to help you organise your learning. It's just the same as creating a music playlist, but instead you might want to pick out pods on topics you find tricky, so you can watch them again. Here on the left are some more playlists, but these have already been created for you. These lists contain all the pods that are relevant to specific exams, so when it comes to revising, you have everything in one place. As shown here, you can even see the exam date, which is useful for prioritising what to focus on first. We'll head back to the dashboard now. You might have spotted there's a section called Assignments. These are set by your teacher, so let's have a look at this one. Here are the pods our teacher has asked us to watch. And below are the questions we have to answer. Assignments can be completed on your smartphone or via our apps, and you can answer the questions whilst listening to the pods. Hit Submit to finish, and you'll see your mark. It looks like we got a couple wrong, so if we choose View Results, we can see our wrong answers. Highlighted here. Click on the question, and we can see what the correct answer should have been. If we click Want to Improve, we can watch the pods that explain why that is the correct answer. These pods have been put into a playlist called a Boost Playlist, which is created automatically for us and contains everything we need to strengthen our weaker areas. Watching pods in your Boost Playlist is a very effective way to increase your grades. Back on the dashboard, we can see that this Boost Playlist has been added to our list. You can revisit this playlist anytime and strengthen your knowledge even further. Now you've got everything you need to get started using GCSEpod. Try searching for a topic you've been studying recently and see what you can find.